photos of San Felipe and Taos. And uh, a little bit about myself, um, I have worked on collaboration. My business, I have a small business, and even prior to that, my focus has been getting out the vote in Indian country. I've done what I could and have really worked hard to try to get um, more Indian people to vote. And in getting them to come to vote, we have to deal with the fact that you know not everybody is as active as we are, the ones that are sitting in the room. So my approach was to inform them, to ask them, to get down to the basics about asking them to vote, telling them why it was important, pointing out what it is, what's in it, whatever it is, is in it for them and their families, how these issues and decisions that are made by those above have an impact on Indian country. Also, um, in addition to that is, a, a, in addition to just being able to vote and casting and having your voice heard through that, making your voice heard through that channel uh, in the polling booth is also the opportunity I see with this group is to actually be part of a group that formulates what is happening in the Democratic Party. What what is it that the Democrat we want to portray and put out there for Native people, especially out in the communities, those of us that live in the cities as well. There's a lot of issues that have to have an impact on us almost immediately, so that's quite important. Everything from education to healthcare to everything. So some of the experience that I bring to this, um, I've worked on several different elections, uh, specifically with the Pueblos on the Conservancy District election, having to do with water rights and water issues, issues that are very important to tribal members. We saw the greatest surge, and actually we're feeling a bit of a pushback <laughs> as well, but we're dealing with that. Uh, down the road, and that's part of the growth as well. Not only is it important to get out the vote, but it expect that there's going to be some pushback, so we have to be prepared for that. I worked on, uh, been a part um, and oversaw the um, GOTV efforts for the presidential elections. I've actually managed campaigns. I'm very familiar with what it takes to run um, and help a candidate run for office, and I believe I can bring that and add that to this group here. Um, didn't come by that without anything. I've had some really great mentors, but also some actual um, in-depth training uh, on, these, on getting up the vote and everything from campaign fundraising to speech writing to the materials being put out, and I think I can bring that here as well. Uh, the tribal voter collaboration has been one of the bigger parts uh, that I've been a part of, um, working with the different uh, groups like the All Indian Pueblo Council, the New Mexico Indian Gaming Association and the Tribal Taxation um, Coalition. Um, and that covered just about everybody. And I think that's what I'm most interested in doing is looking at this in a very cohesive manner, bringing all of these groups together. And I think that's going to be very important. Finally, my newest um, uh, <coughs> addition to the things that I am doing is uh, becoming a board member of Emerge New Mexico. And some of you may know Emerge New Mexico, many of you may not. And I decided to join Emerge for a very personal reason, and it was really to help everybody out <coughs> in our community. Emerge New Mexico is an organization of democratic women dedicated, the mission is to find women to run for public office. But not just identifying them, but providing actually education again, entirely what I've been working on this last, for quite some time, so. That's what I see. I, I, I'm very, I work very hard to bring networks of people together to create a bigger network, and I hope that that's what I'll be doing here. I mean, I'm going to be working towards it, so here we go. Thank you.